Hi. Let's learn about the ISLM model. The ISLM model, short for Investment Saving and Liquidity Preference Money Supply, LM, is a Keynesian macroeconomic model that shows how the market for economic goods, IS, interacts with the loanable funds market, LM, or money market. It is represented as a graph in which the IS and LM curves intersect to show the short-run equilibrium between interest rates and output. British economist John Hicks first introduced the ISLM model in 1937 as a formalized graphical representation of Keynes' theories. The model examines the relationship between output, or gross domestic product, and interest rates. The ISLM graph consists of two curves, IS and LM, which represent the equilibrium of interest rates and output. The ISLM graph consists of two curves, IS and LM. GDP is placed on the horizontal axis, while the interest rate makes up the vertical axis. The IS curve depicts the levels at which total investment equals total saving, while the LM curve depicts the levels at which money supply equals money demand. The intersection of the IS and LM curves shows the equilibrium point of interest rates and output when money markets and the real economy are in balance. Shifts in the position and shape of the IS and LM curves represent changing preferences for liquidity, investment, and consumption, altering the equilibrium levels of income and interest rates. The ISLM model has been criticized for its simplistic assumptions about the macroeconomy and its limited policy tools. It cannot account for simultaneous high unemployment and inflation, and it is not useful for formulating tax or spending policies. Even its creator, John Hicks, called it a classroom gadget and expected it to be eventually replaced by something more sophisticated. Here are three key takeaways. 1. The ISLM model describes how real goods and financial markets interact to balance the rate of interest and total output in the macroeconomy. ISLM stands for Investment Saving, IS, and Liquidity Preference Money Supply, LM. Three, ISLM can be used to describe how changes in market preferences alter the equilibrium levels of gross domestic product, GDP, and market interest rates. Hope this would help. Thanks for watching.